Hey, welcome back to another John's Films. Today I wanted to figure out what's the best configuration for me to use to render given all the options that exist in the Studio Edition. You see they put in this new NVIDIA, which is the NVENC encoder that hardware encodes on NVIDIA graphics cards. Further, if I look inside my preferences, here I've got options. I can go CUDA, OpenCL, I can leave it on auto, I can choose the individual GPUs I'd like to use. And so I did that, and I ran all types of configurations through this. So given that I have the following workstation, which is a Ryzen 1950x16 core 32 thread CPU at stock with on an MSI X399 gaming Pro Carbon motherboard, 64 gigs of PC 3200 RAM, two 1080 Ti's uh, running with three independent NVMe M.2 drives. I'd like to know what's the most efficient use of that hardware. And so here's what I did. I ran a test with OpenCL with CUDA rendering in the native encoder here in DaVinci Resolve and then used the NVIDIA encoder. And without wasting anybody's time, here are our results. What I found wasn't necessarily that as surprising, except that given the timeline I used, which was exactly the last video I published on this channel, I'll link it in the top, but it was that exact project. And so it had a couple of zoom in and zoom out effects, a couple of masking effects, but nothing special. And you can see where you've got two uh, in 1080 Ti's in SLI with the NVIDIA encoder, hardware encoder, took 175 seconds, whereas just one of them took 170 seconds for the exact same timeline. One GPU enabled with the CUDA cores took 314 seconds, Two CUDA core GPUs took 310, and two at OpenCL took over 10 and a half minutes, which is 637. So what I learned here was uh, I may even sell this second graphics card on eBay. If this is going to continue to hold, I have too much hardware. Uh, don't know that anybody really ever runs around to that, but I really don't play that many games, and I don't necessarily need to power this thing or cool it. So I may be putting that up on eBay. Pretty exciting. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you with your setup. Hopefully it helps you not overspend. The NVIDIA hardware encoder I've read has been improved further in the 20 series graphics cards. So if you find the 2080 or the 2070, you might be able to uh, further speed this up. But it really does show that buying the right hardware and configuring it properly really matters. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great week.